Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue. I write the reloading column for Combat Handguns magazine, and I'm also the black powder editor of Guns of the Old West magazine. And behind me here is the Harry Potter reloading bench. And for any of you who saw my video, Reloading in Small Spaces, you've seen this bench before. I call it the Harry Potter bench because it's built under the stairwell uh, to my basement. So this is a pretty small space, as, as we've talked about. And there is a, uh, there's a product that has really made this viable for me. And, and granted, I have some issues that the rest of you may not have and that I have to test a variety of, uh, of presses as I come along for the column. But we all have similar concerns about presses and accessories and that sort of thing and how to mount them on a small bench. So I'm going to take a look at uh, just another new product that Lee has introduced recently and we'll show you how that can work to your benefit. As I've said before, one of the real godsends if you have to reload in a small space like this is this Lee bench plate. Uh, this is a steel plate, bolts to your bench, and has brackets that accept these bases that, that you see here, uh, three quarter inch hardwood bases, and you can mount various accessories or presses on these bases and interchange them in the same space on your bench. Now we'll just show you For instance, I could put this turret press on, or I could trade that out for, for another press and always have this space available. Very handy. So, same space that, say, I'm using a press in today. Tomorrow, I could put a lubricizer in that same space and go to lubing bullets. So I don't have to mount things on different parts of the bench or um, C-clamp them to the bench, which is, of course, what, you know, what I used to do before I had this. Uh, because you wouldn't want all of this stuff permanently mounted on your bench. So this is great. I mean, you can put up tremors and, and you can put up lubricizers and uh, use the same space on your bench. But one of my gripes with the wooden blocks that you see here is they would tend to walk out. I'm going to loosen this up a bit. You know, you'd put them in with your press or, or whatever mounted on it. And as you're pulling the, the handle down, that pressure, because of course this is angled, eventually makes this walk out and get loose. Then you have to loosen up the screws and tighten things up again. So Lee has come up with a new product that really takes care of that. And this is the steel bench block. And it's pre-shaped and it fits right in here, uh, just like the wooden ones do. And it's already drilled for all the Lee presses, so there's a whole combination that'll work with, with any Lee press. And in they go. Right, and the reason this thing can work so well is because, as you can see, right here, there's a little bump. And that bump gets captured behind the brackets. So when I tighten this down, That lip is behind the bracket, and we'll just show you a little picture of that so you can see it a little bit more clearly. All right, this little bump uh, on each side of the, uh, the bench block actively engages the, the brackets when they're screwed down, and it forms a hard stop. So even though you've got an angled base, it can't wiggle its way out the way the wooden blocks do. Uh, really was a good idea and it was exactly what I hoped they would do. Now I've mounted this Lee Sentry press on uh, with the bolts that come with the kit. As you can see there's a set of holes that that works in and it's very simple. It just slides into place and then I'll just tighten the screws down and we'll be good to go. As you can see we're good and solid in here now. This is not going to come out. It's not going to walk free. And it doesn't matter how much pressure I put on it, it's going to stay right in place, which I think is just a fantastic invention. And uh, just to show it to you in operation, we're going to size a few 4570 cases, and you can see how it works. 
Uh, we're full length resizing 4570 cases, which should be a, uh, a pretty good test of how well this this bench block will stay in place. So, get a case on, and we'll go up and get her in. There we go. All right. Well, that's that is pretty good. That's a big case. And it takes some work to get it resized. Now let's try another one. Very good. There we go. Hard to do when you're not right there. That was a tight one. And as you can see, there's still a little bit of flex in the system, but really, nothing that's going to worry me. There. So that's good. So, it's capable of doing heavy work. Not loosening up at all. It's solid. That bench plate is attached to my 3 inch thick bench. Uh, it's not going anywhere. Uh, I think it's a pretty good product. Now. You will probably still want to use the wooden bases, and they are still offered with with the kit initially uh, for any accessories, because these holes are pre-drilled for uh, for lee presses. And if you want to mount accessories, they're probably going to have a different drill pattern, like my my lubricizer did. Or if you want to mount another manufacturer's uh, presses, which you can certainly do on the wood, because on the wood you can drill it to any configuration you want. As, as you can see, this is the plate that was underneath this one originally before I swapped it out for the steel. But uh, but you could put another manufacturer's press on or you could put on your accessories with the wooden plates and you can use these plates to mount your, your Lee presses and I think it's just exactly what the doctor ordered.